We are back together again, ladies and gentlemen, here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. The video series where I always have to adjust a bandana, fiddle with my hair, or talk like a robot. I'm on my porch. It's windy. That's why I'm in a coat. I went outside today before it was super windy. Got some sun with the cats. Today was the deadline day for the community news. In case some of you are confused, I am laid off, actually. I'm receiving unemployment for the first time in my 56 years. Of course, like if you're a baby, you don't apply for it, I don't think. So we'll say my working life, which would have been, oh, hang on. I figured 44 years. I don't know. Maybe I was 12 when I started working, like for mother at the store who fi she fired me. I've been over this before. I have new people, though. Mother owned a dress shop in Connie Lake, PA, and I worked there as a teen, as an early preteen, whatever you call them, tween. And uh, then when I became a teen, I think, guess I still work there, whatever, and um, she fired me. Yeah. So I went to work for Connie Lake Park for Interstate United Volume Food Services. And we used to have a little saying about that, but I'm not going to get into it. Good golly, this wind is insane. I'm afraid of high winds, by the way. In case you want to know what really scares me, it's high winds. I ended up having to write a column. Now, I've been... Oh, deadline day. Let me get back to that. I, um, I had to change an advertisement because they're no longer promoting Mother's Day. This is online only now, ladies and gentlemen. And um, then I had, I sold a $3 ad, so I made 75 cents. <laughs> of course, I'm not, you know, officially charging any money for this. If he, I'm going to ask the chief when this is all said and done, and you know my feelings on it, but he stalls out, that um, maybe he can buy me some computer ink, and that would be my payment. Yeah. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so that's what I had to do. But when I do a column now, I find that it's, you know, kind of important information that I'm trying to get out there. And unlike the mainstream media that can just say whatever the hell they want or show whatever uh, footage they'd like without any uh, facts to back it up, that goes for the independent media as well in terms of some of them. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I try to be accurate because I've noticed when you... When you go against the mainstream in any situation, you have you cannot make one little mistake because people will jump on it and ride you and they'll disregard everything else you've said. It's true. Yeah. Like say that, oh, I can't think of an example. You know what I mean. I don't have to illustrate everything, do I? No. Holy ghost. Uh, yeah, so that's what I just did. And it just takes me a lot longer to write these days, ladies and gentlemen. It, probably because I... I'm trying to be very much on target. Of course, there was sarcasm thrown in for good measure and, you know, my opinions on it, but I did a disclaimer basically explaining that opinions, of course, are mine. It is an opinion column, but the facts that are also listed in the column are not, you know, they're facts. I don't know how better to put it. What alternative facts or something. I don't know. Somebody said that once. Um, hold on while I gather my thoughts. I just remembered I didn't do a video today. I actually did three videos. The reason why I deleted them is because I was going to share on what was the one reason. I thought it'd be cute to video Zoe, but I had already made a video of me, like, blathering on and just turning the phone around. So then I decided to film Zoe, and then I said something in that video that I thought wouldn't be taken right. It, it's not about the thing or anything. It was just some other goofy statement. I think that's why I deleted it. And then, um, then I was going to share a video with people. But the more I listened to the video I was going to share, and I already made the I read the other video that I was going to put up. Oh my God. I filmed Zoe again. It was like a minute long, and I was bloviating about. The reason why I'm coming on here is to share this video with you. Well, I ended up not sharing it. Because I'm not going to promote anything else that talks about cases or things like that because of the test. Because the test is... I don't know how to put this delicately, not accurate, not testing for what they're saying they're testing for. And the, the way they announce things on the news, the fake news, is um, like in terms of the death portion, it's after being diagnosed with the thing, Joe Blow of Main Street keeled over dead. And they neglect to mention that Joe Blow of Main Street went in for, you know, a massive cerebral hemorrhage or something. But they happened to quote unquote test him for the thing what are they testing you know what I'm saying 
Good gravy, ladies and gentlemen. Um, gee, look at this blanket's gonna take off in midair. I'm covered up. I know. Look, <laughs> like a dunce cap. Don't you comment on that? All right, this Sunday, we are going to celebrate elsewhere. I talked her into it. She said yes. We're celebrating her, and I forgot a long time ago. She wrote to me not a long time ago, but I don't know a year, and uh, told me details about her life or enough, you know that I can go on. I like it when people tell me details about their life. It makes it easy for me to do the game. Sunday is Mother's Day. Oh, I'm getting a message from... Oh, let me see this. Hold on. I'm going to read this because it might be something I can share with you about, you know, the thing. Mother's Day is Sunday. I hope you can all make it to the gig. If, if you can't, maybe we shouldn't do it and move it to some other day. Hold on. I'm going to do something really weird. I'm going to open this up and read it to you, and I guess I'll still be recorded. This is from an anonymous friend of mine who I knew long ago. I've had to go to two or three doctor's offices in the past couple of weeks. Only one of them made me wear a mask. One of them took my temperature and asked if I've been out of the country while I went to the next one. I got to sit next to anyone I wanted, rubbing shoulders with people I didn't know with no mask. Oh, God, what a thrill. No questions. Doctor walks in and said, quote, you know, this is bull. Beep. I don't want to swear on here, right? We started comparing videos. Now we send them back and forth comparing notes. It's the government running this shit. I just swore after that. I said I wasn't gonna. Oh, the other word was bullshit. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. And I wrote back, yeah, and here I am with you again. I have no idea how that's gonna turn out, but I thought I'd share it with you. It's live on the spot. What here goes with that? The politician thing. You know how they do this with their thought? No, I keep... It's because I have a glooby. That's usually why I'm doing it. I'm bloviating now. I'm blathering on. Anyhow, Mother's Day is Sunday. Uh, is it going to interfere with us having the game? Or, like, elsewhere? I didn't even talk to her about it. Is she a mom? Or, you know, people going to be coming over? Perpetual has been talked into making prime rib for our Mother's Day selection. Uh, and I have to try to track some down. I have a couple of phone calls in. If not, I'll just make a roast in the crock pot and we will gather as one next door at mother's i want to tell you something else too oh yeah whenever this column comes out that i ended up having to write i can give you the link to the online edition it's free now to anyone who wants it if you'd like to read anything that's been done lately actually you can just go to the website anytime and read lisa's ransom raves if you so desire uh and i will leave a link in the description I probably will forget, so I'll leave a link in the comment area. I'm going to play this back and see what the hell I'm saying in it, okay? Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. Remember wars and racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley about what he had to say. I encourage people at the end of my column to just ditch politics altogether. Yeah, I was pretty um, blunt about it. I feel more blunt in the online edition because, you know, I'm barely employed. I'm really, you know what I'm saying? I'm hanging on by a thread. I'm laid off. I feel I need to say what I want to say. I don't know. Do what you do. One thing leads to another. Yeah, yeah. Say what you want. Do what you will. I don't remember it. Okay, bye.